Hey everybody, Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media. Today we're going to look at how to assemble the uh, the laser ammo IMTTS system or the interactive multi-target training system made by laser ammo. So what we're going to do here is start with the actual operating instructions. Uh, I'll just go over that and we'll take a look at it. So we want to install three AAA batteries on the underside of all IMTTS base units according to the markings. So we'll take a look at the base unit here. We've got our three batteries and obviously we'll line those up according to positive and negative. Okay, batteries are in. That's all set. All right, so insert a target card of your choice from the provided target cards in the base unit. So I just grabbed the five inch circle and I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. All right, so as you can see, we've got our batteries in, we've got our target inserted, it's right here. All right, so it says position the IMTTS targets following these guidelines. Minimum distance of eight inches between any two targets. We only have one target right now, so we don't need to worry about spreading out that space any further. Position with clear eyesight between targets. Maximal spread between full set of targets is about 20 feet. Range may be changed according to the surrounding objects and environment. So if we have two, five, ten targets spread out, the maximum distance we should have between any of those um, total is 20 feet it looks like here. Avoid placing targets against walls or any objects. Keep a minimal distance of four inches from the target to any wall or object. So we've got open space over here, so that's good. Uh, but I'm gonna move the box over a little bit just so it's not in the way. We're gonna move the KWA with the laser ammo reel in it over a little bit as well. Um, and then we have clear space right here. Okay, there we go, so that's wide open. We've got, man, it's gotta be five or six feet of wide open space behind that target, so that's fine. Uh, let's take a look here. Target should be placed at least three feet above floor level. All right, we've got that covered as well. We're sitting at probably about three and a half feet right now, so that's good. All right, so then turn on all the IMTTS targets by pressing the on-off button. All right, so we've got the on button right here. That's the lowest uh, button here according from here down, so the lowest button on the grid. All right, so we've got that turned on. Select hit response to as a beep a light or both. The default is both. So on the LED here, just so you can see, again we've got our power button, I turn that on. So boom, power, LED is on. Hit response, we've got light or sound and the default is both. So let's cycle through quick. Okay, that's just sound. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just light to the left on. That's just sound here on the right or we can default back to having them both on, so sound and light when the target is hit. So again, we have only light, only sound, default is both. All right, there we go. All right, so select operation mode. All targets must be set to the same operation mode. Now, there are some different operation modes available here. We have standalone, each target will, will respond to any hit, no communication between targets. Steel plate shooting, all targets will light up and then extinguish when hit. Targets will automatically reset after hitting them all. Chase the ball, one random target will light up with bright green color. Hitting the target will turn it off and another random target will turn on bright green. Shoot, no shoot, mode indicator, C. Let's see here, targets will light up green or red for two seconds. Shoot only the green targets, that light will move to the next random target as it turns green. Shoot a red target will result in a penalty. Double speed shoot, no shoot. A, B, advanced level or drill C for faster shooters. All right, so that's your A, B, and C modes here, and then your A, B, 
Um, so that just covers the different modes that this actually has available to it. And we'll do a video that's more inclusive of these different modes and everything as well. This is more or less just for setup to make sure we can get it up and running. We'll show you the other modes in more detail later. All right, folks, here we go. So our target is all set up. Um, it's just in the standalone mode. It's not connected to any other targets. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fire a shot from the KWA ATP pistol, which is utilizing the laser ammo reel system with the barrel insert. And we're gonna shoot this target. And we're gonna look to see if we get sound and a light flash. All right, and that's exactly what we got. So uh, just keeping it simple there, folks. That's how you set up the actual laser ammo target itself. That was quick, easy, and fast. The directions and operation of it are also very simple. And uh, we can see when we actually shoot it, we see exactly what happens. We see that we hit the target. So I'm impressed with it. Uh, nice and simple system overall. And uh, again, we'll go into the operating modes, uh, pistol usage, everything like that, uh, different training modes, all, all those things here in just a little while. This was more or less a setup video just to make sure we can get you up and running and started with the product. So as always, everybody, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, you know, hit that subscribe button. Whenever we grow that subscriber base, that gives us the chance to build relationships with more companies like Laser Ammo and KWA uh, to help bring you more information on products and product videos um, and to really highlight different things you might want to spend your hard-earned money on. So please do hit that subscribe button, uh, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. We've got a lot of great time content. It'll always be worth it. Um, so thank you again for tuning in, folks. I really appreciate it. And uh, We'll have some more videos here coming for you soon with the KWA pistol, the ATP adaptive training pistol, uh, the laser ammo reel, which you can see inserted into the KWA here, and the, uh, the laser ammo interactive multi-target training system, the IMTTS. Lots more coming your way on this. Looks like a really cool product already with the little bit of usage I've already had with it. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you soon. All right guys, so this is one of the things that I forgot to bring up before. When we pull the slide back, since we don't actually have any rounds or BBs in the gun, um, the way that the magazine functions and so on, it always wants to leave that slide pulled back. It's on empty. Just like a real magazine in a real gun, you've got a little portion of the, the magazine that sticks up and pushes that slide release or that slide lock up so it engages the actual slide and keeps it back. So we can do a couple different things, right? We can push down and go shot to shot, just like this, okay? We can modify our grip a little bit and keep that slide lock or that slide release pushed down, okay? Or, the other thing we can do is we can actually make a little change to our magazine quick. And on the ATP magazine, it's pretty easy. What we do is we just push down here. There's a little release for this bottom floor plate that comes off. And you need to know how to take that off to fill your gas anyway. Okay, so we've got that. And then if you look in here, you can see We'll see if we can get this zoomed in. There's a little tiny pin right here. And if we push this down, we'll take an Allen key and push that pin out of the way. Just so you can see that that's a pin now, it's pushed out, okay? What we do from there is we can take this spring out of here and that follower can be removed okay so this is the the portion that would keep running up this magazine boop, 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 just like that and pushing those bb's up into this little section to go into the the actual gun to get ready to get fired okay so we're removing this piece all right, so I'm gonna put this back in here since this keeps the floor plate on too. Okay, we're gonna push this down. We're gonna punch this little pin back in since that keeps it in place. 
All right, boom, there we go. Oh, a little too far. Okay, so it looks like it works pretty good if you just press it in with your finger. All right, there we go. So that still locks on the bottom here, and that'll still keep our floor plate from moving around. There we go. So that's all set. And now that we have this little follower removed, we're gonna load up. All right, there we go. We're not getting any sort of slide catch there. And boom, no problem. The only time that we run out now or scenario that we have to train on is when our magazine runs empty. Um, so when we're out of gas to shoot. And each one of these magazines, um, from what I was told, holds anywhere from maybe 17 to 20 or 24 rounds, per se, rounds. Um, so either way, it'll give you the opportunity to shoot your targets plenty of times and just get used to having that recoil, resetting, and getting used to getting back on target. So pretty cool overall, but figured I'd better bring this up uh, because that's not mentioned in the laser ammo material from what I could tell um, from the, uh, the real kit here. So that is something that you are definitely going to want to do to make sure that you can train like fairly normal uh, with this setup here with the real barrel insert and the KW ATP pistol, you're gonna wanna remove that magazine follower. So just thought I'd bring that up. But anyway, let's keep going here. Ha, ha, ha.